breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our very own brother, Peter Obi, reacts to the demolition of properties going on in Lagos State. Sends serious message to San Wolu and to all Lagos government saying, this is absurd. Let us, let us tender, you know, let us understand that there is a place called, you know, mercy. And let us look at things more critically before we make any advanced move that could possibly cause you know um, a real problem not just for some people but for all you know eventually it's going to consume people you see please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details just in peter will be react to recent demolition of properties in lagos abuja orders the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election, Peter Obi, has condemned the demolition of properties in Lagos, Abuja, Kano, and other cities in the country. In a statement on his ex-account on Thursday, Obi expressed worry over the mass destruction of properties across the country. He urged the government to focus on alleviating economic hardship, mm -hmm. implementing mm -hmm. necessary measures to lift people out of poverty rather than concentrating on destroying people's hard earned savings and life work he wrote with it's with complete despair and unhappiness that i have followed the ongoing demolition of properties across the country especially knowing the extra hardship such acts have been heaping on helpless citizens who are already battling with multiple demolition and poverty as it stands at the moment. What a responsive, responsible government should do under the current harsh economic condition in the country is to come up with measures aimed at alleviating the people's hardship and to carry out measures that would take more people out of poverty rather than destroying properties. Even if there are some violation of government, violation as the government are claiming, this critical time is not the actual time to exercise this in a country that is experiencing hardship and the consequences that you impoverish the people even more who are struggling to make ends meet with their little resources. The poor in our midst who are putting their hard-earned resources to ensure that they come off these very issues are the very ones that are being more and more dipped into poverty. The demolition being demonstrated in this country are some people's savings, lifetime retirement, and aged long put together resources that is being demolished in a twinkle of an eye. My appeal therefore is for the respect respective government to look at this more intensely, to consider the hardship in the country and try and put a human face on their actions. Why we should enforce sensible regulations, all actions of government must show compassion. Peter Obi. So our very own brother Peter Obi has written to the government. On one side, San Wolu is destroying properties of Nigerians in the east. On the other side, um, Wiki is destroying properties of FCT members in the you know in 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 Abuja. So people are suffering. It is not a time to make them even suffer more. People's houses, life, long, you know, properties, you know, work is being destroyed in the, within a twinkle of an eye because, you know, government says the houses are not where they should be. Agreed, the houses are not where they should be, but some people gave them planning permission. Some people aided and helped things to get to where it is today. Who are those people? Is it that these buildings have no form no form at all, you know, of any, I mean, they just bought the land and they started building. There was no form of approval from the government, from lands and planning, nothing at all. And people just go on and start carrying out other activities. What exactly is going on and how did we get here? 
these are things that we should consider and think about the people. And like Peter Obi said, these are people's, you know, life savings. These are people's, you know, work that they have put together. Some are, you know, I mean, all kinds of things have gone on. Some families, as we speak, they, 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 they are in the hospital. Yes, trying to understand what has just happened to them, what has just hit them. Some are in the hospital, some are in different places, you know, some have gone back to the villages. Yes, these are people who have been in town working, you know, and trying to, you know, get life going for them, investing in an environment. And guess what? You just come in a single day and you destroy all, all that they have. We need to, you know, we need, I mean, in this kind of situation, the government should consider things very critically before making hasty decisions. And if you look at it, it's beyond just them building without planning permits. It feels very strongly that, you know, some persons are out to get the others. And so, like, you know what's going on in Lagos. Yes, we understand that some of this building may not have planning permit like the government has said. But what happened to long before now? Samuel, you've done your first tenure. What happened that you did not see? The, some people continue to build in the last four years. How come you allow things to go this bad? What happened up until now? Why did you allow things to get this bad? What exactly happened? You know, so these are things that we all must look upon and understand so that there is no victimization of some people. It is truly, you know, with an open heart and sincerity, you know, in order to make things work for every single person. So my people, these are things that are happening, you know, and Peter Obi just had to lend his voice to the voiceless on those who are suffering and those who are going through very serious issues at the moment. You know, when you look at it, if you see the level of demolition, some of those buildings, the, the money that have been invested in them, you will weep, like seriously weep, you know. Uh, and it is it is something to really consider, to think about what Peter B has said, you know, ensuring that the right things are done. Yes, please don't forget, you are important. And every single one of us must contribute our part meaningfully in order to bring Nigeria to where it needs to be. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Every one of us have got a responsibility to ensure that the right things are done so that we can move forward as a nation. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.